Thanks for coming, everybody. Appreciate it. How you guys doing? Good. Doing good. All right. So the thing I wanted to talk about today was stretching for a little bit more. Um, so we've been doing the two different types of problems. We've got the life and death problems, which people seem to be generally getting, and the best move problems, which seem to be trickier. And I think the reason they seem to be trickier is because it's not as obvious what it is you're supposed to do. So this one, for instance, was the first best move problem. And the thing is that presented as a problem, you will probably find that you can jump to here, right? And then after you play here and connect, it is sente because white will owe you a move to connect, right? Good. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Sound good? So that's sort of the point. But the, the, the problem is how many times in real life do people just say, oh, okay, cool, I'll just do my end game push, that's it, right? There's a number of other problems like this. Like you might remember one similar to this one. It isn't quite exactly this one, where the important part of the problem is that you play here now. Once you play here, this group's dead. If you go, oh, yay, I got two stones, I'm so excited, I got two stones, and then they're alive. Like, this isn't just a matter of haste makes waste, it's a matter of that when presented as a problem, People will, in, when it's labeled life and death as a problem, people will see, hey, this works. Maybe, maybe they'll see it. Do you see it? Yeah. yeah. So they'll see, hey, cool, there's this snapback effect. But the problem is that when you're playing, it's not presented as a problem, and you're very excited, hey, I'm going to catch these two stones, and that's good enough for me. Make sense? So uh, let's see, this one. This one's also a problem. Oops. Yeah. It's also a problem. So who's got this one? This one's on our. Uh, is there an extra stone? There's an extra stone. There's an extra on it right here. No, I thought there was. Huh? I just saw it on the front page. It's on page four. It's on page four. Uh, week first, first week. Week four, first one. Yeah. One minute. It's not a It's just extended. It's just extended. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's like this. It's like this. Yeah. this. Sorry. That's the important part of the problem. Ah. Okay. <laughs> So what's going on here? I think it's 18.1. Yeah, this is the same problem as this one over here. If you just say, hey, cool, I'm going to capture stones, they're really relieved to play Atari and play here. And now even after you hunt, yeah. they've got four and they're alive, right? So if you just say, hey, cool, you know, so say this is your co-threat, right? And you're like, hey, this is a co-threat, very neat. Then I play here, and then they play here. And now I'm all, oh, yeah, that was my co-threat. I just got three stones. When really, that co-threat is to play here. And after they play Atari, they can't, they can't keep playing Atari. So they all die. Right? You stretch out for a little bit more. You get a very different result. Here you get two stones. Here you get three stones. Right? Here they all die. Right? And presented as a problem, I think people would look at this more than for a split second. But in the game, you don't. You just play it and you're done, right? So this one, this one, this one, these are all kind of similar. Here's another one, here. So in this case, this is problem five from the Tsuji section on week four down here. So if you guys want to turn over and look at it, what do you think it is? Hane. Hane. Which Hane? Try and create the snapback. Where? Ah, here. <laughs> this one. Right, good. Try and create the snapback. <laughs> Right? What happens? They can't play here because you can just play Atari. If they connect, this Atari wins, right? If they connect here, now what's the next move? Hang on, don't, don't you say it. Don't you say it. What's the next move? Don't Hane. you say it either. Hane on top. Hane on top, that's right. We do it again. Some people would be like, hey, cool, you know, my group is going to escape. Yay, I'm so excited. Except for that, you know, it won't, right? In this particular circumstance, but there, there may be ones where you just say you give up on it already and you're just happy just to have escaped when really you can keep stretching for more and see what happens, right? And this is another case where like the problem here in this case is very dire. If you, if you solve it, these stones live and these stones die, right? This is a very large swing. So, if this comes up in a game, because this is such a big deal, people would read it. I wonder how many people read it if it will look something more like, like this, right? Where this group is out. 
and you don't necessarily realize that you can catch a large portion of the white group. Now, like this, it's a totally different question. Now it's an endgame question. Now the question is, how important is it for me to get these three stones? Because rest assured that if you do this in the endgame, you know, the person who you're playing is not going to do this. This is a goate sequence to catch three stones. So you need to know how big it is, but you need to know that it's there, right? And how many times are you, are, like, when you take all the urgency out of the situation, are you still leading it as hard as you should be? Right? In this case, these situations aren't super urgent. Like, you're going to make some profit, right? Like, down here is a great example. When, you, when you're looking for things like this, now all of the reading you're doing is useful, right? Because you're stretching out for every last point, right? There's no urgency. This is like a one, this is a, what, a two point difference in sente, right? It's, it's, it's big in terms of the end game. Like, you'll sit down and play a game over two hours and you'll, you'll just automatically play the push and the connection without realizing, like, it just makes the, what, why did you play all those other moves, right? Sorry if I'm getting a little carried away. I'm passionate. Okay. All right, one more. Uh, actually, two more. Two more examples that I wanted to talk over. One was, so I was watching a game some folks were playing, Blitz game. Of the day. It's something like this. Black has built up some big fancy territory here. I, I'm making this up roughly from memory, so don't don't quote me on this as like an actual honest to God problem. But there's a co-fight. It's kind of out of the way because black also has this corner here. So black has had you know, like this really big territory that spans pretty much the whole side of the board. And there's a co-fight somewhere else. And, um, let's see, it looked like this, I think. Yeah, I want to say it was like this. Now what happens is, white's co-fight is here, and then White black fills in white place here, and then so or, so the co thread happens. This is white's co thread. Black takes the co or, or ends the co in whatever way, and so white's follow up to make good on the thread is here. Then black plays here, and without thinking, white plays here. Like, why is this terrible? Why was this really bad? In this case, it was even worse because I think it let black connect to the other corner. Right? It's not quite like this, but it's really close. And, and, and it just was without thinking. They play here, right? Of course you gotta stretch for a little more. Of course you do, right? It's, it's, it's so, once you've done this, it changes the character of the whole bottom of the board, right? Am I, am I kinda getting through what I'm trying to say? All right, there's one other problem that was a great example of this problem, where presented as a problem, We'll see, we'll see how many of you guys get it presented as a problem, actually. Let's, let's do that. This is a tricky, tricky little problem. But I'm going to you guys are good for it. You've been doing lots of problems now, right? Okay. It's a neat little problem. Black to play. <clears throat> Show me a good move. Drew, you looking sly? What you got? Uh, pushing cut. Push what? Eighteen two. Uh, right. Pushing 92. cut. Yeah. So you think we will push here? No, it doesn't quite work. Doesn't quite work. Try again. Yeah. Do you see what he's saying? If you push and cut, what can Atari from here and then play here? Because there's this liberty here. Right? Harley, mm -hmm. you got it? Yeah. What's the answer? Oh, do I have the answer now? Yes. I got no. it. That was wrong. Oh, uh, good. No. I think I'm right. So if this is your end game, how, how many of you guys play Atari here? And then Tommy and Connect. Yeah. I want to connect to that. 
I mean, can't you kill it? Can you? I don't know. I'm looking at 19 too. 19, this one? Yeah. I don't know what the order is. That was what I was looking at. Okay, there you go. I've got, an, I've got a second eye here. Oh, maybe 17. Put 18 to 1. Aha! What's your follow up? Uh, ah, yeah. White set of blocks. If white blocks. He's dead. No. Is he? No, but <laughs> not dead, but you get these three stones, which are cutting stones, which is important, right? Mm -hmm. If you just play the hunt, like present it as a problem, this is the best way for both, right? White resists, white dies, right? So present it as a problem, you can see it on the board. How many people are like, oh, I'm cut, right? All right, that's what I had to talk about. I also played a game with Nick on Monday. You won? I might have won. No, it was a fun game. It was a fun game. Nick was really tired, though. Was, I felt like I was <laughs> taking a beach ball from on, baby. I mean that in the best of ways. It's just Nick was not on his game. He was he was really tired. He was, but it's impressive what a showman. You know, it was, did a great job. Anyway. So, that's what I had to talk about. Any questions from the homework? Let's do questions on the homework. And then let's play some games and do some work on these problems. Like I said, we'll do a test next week. Yeah, who's excited about a test? <laughs> Nobody! <laughs> but, you know, I think it's going to be... The whole it's, the whole, don't think of it as a test. It's not like so you get a grade. The whole point is to think of this as space repetition with some variance. Like, because I don't want people making flashcards and memorizing it. I want these to look like familiar problems, not the same problem. Does that make sense? Right. Cool. Is the game you play with Nick online? Uh, it will be at some point. <laughs>